Hello, hello. Happy Monday night stamping, everyone. Hello, Joyce and Luana and Mallory. How are you all this wonderful Monday evening? I have got a very fun uh, technique for you tonight. It's using embossing paste, but I'm not going to be using a stencil. Okay. I can't wait to show you this. Um, I saw this on the Facebook uh, page and uh, one of the artisan design team people did it. And I just thought it looked so cool. Couldn't wait to try it. So I'm going to share it with you guys. I've got some cards I got in the mail from you all also. And uh, I had a great time scrapbooking this weekend. Got my Norway album, all the pictures put in it. I wouldn't say it's finished because I still have some journaling and some titles to put in. But as far as all the pages and the pictures and all that, that part's done. So I'm very happy. So I got that done before a year was up. <laughs> that was my goal. So just barely made it though. Okay, great. Hey, Kay. Hello, hello. All right, let me switch my uh, camera view. There we go. Here's some cards I got from you all. First one is Marie, I'm sorry, Renee Preece. Thank you. It's a beautiful Happy Easter card. It's so sweet. I love it. And may you have a very happy Easter too, Renee. All right. Got that one. And this one is from Patricia Craighead. Uh, I think that's how you say it. And um, she is from One Sheet Wonder, Taylor. Oh, I forget her name. Anyway, she does a one sheet wonder um, every month and I do that. And so uh, Patricia sent me a happy Easter card. So thank you, Patricia. It's very beautiful. And th I'm going to save that one. This one is from Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen, if you're here tonight, hello, Mar Mary Ellen Bray. And she sent me an Easter card. I love the daisy paper. Isn't it so pretty? just beautiful and i love how she accented it with the silver and the rhinestones beautiful anyways happy easter to you too awesome all right my last one is from dorothy dorothy if you're here tonight thank you very much she was saying thank you for getting us all together for on stage last weekend um this was one of the cards this is new in the new catalog it's called mix and match where you get all these dies and you stamp the sentiment and you've got all the different kind of card bases. It's a really cool thing that they're coming out with in the new catalog. So be watching for that May 1st. Um, yeah. Awesome. You know what? I just realized, no, I, I'm good. Is it still March? Oh, <laughs> I almost had a panic about sending y'all's catalog out to you all. Okay, I'm good. I still have five days to, to uh, put your names in for catalogs. And if you've ordered from me, you are getting a catalog from me. Um, and if you are a demonstrator, Stampin' Up! will be sending you a catalog. So those were my cards. Thank you all so much. Just loved it. Yay, Mallory got her catalog today. Okay, you demonstrators out there. Catalogs are coming. Hello, Weston. Are you coming here to help me make a card? You are? He's just sitting here staring at me. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh, you see his little paw? Yeah. Being a good boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's sit. Let's. Yeah. Want to sit in my lap? Okay. All right. Weston's in my lap. <laughs> Joan says hello. Thank you, Michelle. It is still March. I will get your catalog catalogs out to you. Those of you who have who have purchased from me. All right. We need some embossing paste. And we need some designer paper. Now, this uh, any kind of designer paper will work, um, but I picked a very. Uh, hold on, it'll come to me. Busy. There we go. A very busy background. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slather, slather is that a good word? <laughs> Embossing paste all over this, and then we're going to let it dry, and then we'll decorate it. But you're going to see how cool this is. So I don't have a stencil. I just have my palette knife and my embossing paste. And I'm just going to get a clump of it and I'm just going to spread it on there. Kind of get it thick. Not too thick. You want it to dry eventually. Um, the thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry. Um, and I'm not going out to the edges all the way. I want it to, um, you know, some of the busyness to show. All right. That looks good. All right. So that's it. That's all you do. <laughs> uh, but waiting for it to dry is the trick. And so um, I found it really, if you're just going to let it sit here and dry, it really has to be overnight. I took the hot 
uh, heat gun to it. Uh, be careful. It'll bubble if you <laughs> put the heat gun too close to it for too long. But um, I got it all to flatten out. So here's this one. It's dry. And I'll let this one dry overnight and uh, work on it later. All right. So here's my card base or my card um, layer. Okay. Oh, it snowed in Montana yesterday. Oh, my gosh, you guys. We're, well, it's been chilly here in Texas. We're having a chilly March. Sometimes it's warm in February and March, and sometimes it's cold. So, but spring is coming. My herb garden is full of weeds. So this coming weekend, the Easter weekend, I'm hoping to get out there and get a little weeding done. All right. Um, what do I need? I want to play with berry burst. I'm going to pull those colors from this card base. Let's see. Is this eight and a half? Uh, yep, yeah, eight and a half by five and a half. Good. There we go. Got a card base here. Now, um, the, I am using translucent uh, flowers, the paper. This is on the only, this is not in the catalog. This is just in the online store. Okay. And I fussy cut one of these out for my, um, for my image. So I fussy cut that out for my image. Um, the stamp set, the dies, the paper, they're all in the online store. But if you just go to the store and type in translucent, uh, it'll pop up and you'll see it. Um, but yeah, so I've got that. Now I need to put this on here. Now, this is pretty uh, warped. So um, it probably would have been a great idea if I'd put an adhesive sheet on the back of it. Um, actually, I probably still could. Uh, would be the best way to get that to lay flat. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me grab my adhesive sheets. Yeah, that's the only thing with getting paper real wet like that um, is um, it gets, it warps. I'm looking for my trimmer here. Here we go. So that this um, layer is four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to make it just a, uh, just a wee bit smaller than that. So um, three and three quarters by five. All right. And I am going to peel the back off. There we go. Now I know that this part doesn't have the, I didn't peel this part off so I can lay that flat so I can line it up. So then this sticky part can go down and then lift this back up and peel these parts off. Hold on. There we go. And one more. So hopefully this will keep it flat, pretty flat. All right, there we go. So now I've got adhesive sheet on the whole back of it. Hello, Inca. How are you from the Netherlands where daffodils are in full bloom? Oh, that sounds wonderful. Oh, sticking. It's not coming off. All right, hold on. There we go. Oh, hi, Weston. All right, now the trick is to get this on here. Even. Okay, Weston, please, no, don't. I'm just going to stay right there. Okay. All right, we did it. Now I'm just going to turn it over and give it a good rub. All right. Yay! Oh, that looks perfect. That looks good, except uh, I did put it on upside down, but you can't tell because it's so busy. There we go. All right, let me get all this out of the way. Oh, and another thing is you're going to want to wash this palette knife as soon as you can. Um, once that dries on there, it's like cement and it doesn't want to come off. All right, I have this. I also have, hold on. Oh, shoot, where is it? I cut a piece from the, no, 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 no. Of course. Ah, shoot. I cut a piece from the back of it, from the uh, 
postage stamp dies and I had it right here and of course it's missing now because that's my life it always happens when I go live and then I've got to do another piece oh seriously okay and I just stuck my hand in the ink <laughs> I mean in the paste <laughs> all right well I'm gonna have to do it again that's just the way it goes isn't it hey who's got a question Oh, all right, Chris, what are we doing tonight? Chris, we are slathering embossing paste on top of busy designer paper to kind of soften it down a bit. You can still kind of see through it. All right, and then now I'm just decorating it. So this is just a new way to use your embossing paste without getting out a stencil or anything. All right, so it's just a new fun way to make a background. All right, so let me um, get this. Is it this piece that I used? Yeah, I was using this scrap right here. Yep. All right. Let me run this through the machine. Okay, there we go. Now we've got it. So this was just the back of that paper. So now I've got myself um, just a, a layer. It's just a layer. Okay, so then we're going to layer this on there like that. Okay. And then finally for the sentiment, I am pulling out a sentiment I have not used yet. I am really challenging myself to use all the stamp sets that I bought and I haven't used yet. Do you all have Hooray for Surprises? This is a really cool stamp set. This is um, where you make these paper tearaways. So, and then it's got a little stamp here that says pull. So you pull the perforated thing away and it reveals your message underneath. Way cool. We're not gonna be doing that tonight, but um, but I did like the heart and the, uh, the sentiment. The sentiment is, you're, you're the best. You're the best. All right. So here we've got that. And my ink. Go. Okay. And the die. It's a good size heart. I like it when um, when I can use shapes for sentiments. Go and run that through the machine. just going to go right there like that. Let's get some dimensionals out and also some bling in just a sec. All right, so I am taping. I'm going to be putting this on embossing paste, so I want to use a good adhesive. I think that it will really stick. Um, <laughs> I'm never really quite sure. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put it down this way. Yeah. And then um this one needs to go up on dimensionals so what do you guys think about this technique are you do you like it you think you'll try it do you have embossing paste embossing paste is a great um um tool it's, it's not really a tool um it's a great way to embellish your card um that's not too too much work Okay. Like I said, usually you use embossing paste with um, stencils. And um, and you can also add color to it, so you can make it different colors. All right, now I want to put this on there. So let's... Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. And of course, some bling. Grab my bling box. <laughs> and I know the bling I want. Oh, uh, we have the berry burst bling. Oh no, I don't. That's too much berry burst. What else do we want? We got uh, green calypso coral. Oh gosh, choices, choices. Hmm. Oh, well, how about just clear? Yeah. When all else fails, just go with neutral. <laughs> oh, good. Mallory says, yes, I just happen to have some paste. All right. Yeah. So this is a really fun little way to make things more interesting than just plain old, you know, layer of designer paper there we go well i hope you all like tonight's monday night stamping technique it's um just throw in some embossing paste on there it takes a while for it to dry like i said if you use the heat gun be careful if you let it stay in what the heat gun in one position too long the paste begins to bubble i found out so you don't want that to happen um it takes a while. Be patient. Keep flipping it back and forth if you're using the heat gun. If not, just uh, lay it on your desktop and let it dry overnight. And um, yeah, that adhesive sheet on the back helps keep it flat on the card. So awesome. Okay. Yes, Joan, I just like new also. <laughs> Joan says, I can't wait for the new catalog. I just love new. Oh, good. All right, Luana says, see you all on Funfold Friday. She has an appointment Wednesday. All right. And I'm looking for more comments and questions. Yes, Tina loves the colors. Me too. The, the paper in this, uh, the colors in this paper pack are just gorgeous. Especially now that spring is here. I love spring. All right. I don't see anything else. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Oh, oh, Inga, she's saying she's very well. Yes, I'm doing great also, like I said. Um, oh, who is the fur baby? His name is Weston. He has a sister, Calamity. They are both seven months old now, and they are little terrors of the house. Um, they keep me up all night, so I have to lock them out of the bedroom. But even that, they meow. I have to put earbuds in. <laughs> Life with kittens is so much fun. Thanks for, for asking. Awesome. Okay, and I think that's it. I don't see any other questions or comments. Okay, if I missed one, I'm sorry, you guys. Like I said, I tried to, um... oh, Susan says, when are you live? Susan, I am always live on Monday nights at 7.30, Wednesday mornings at 9.30, and Friday mornings at 9.30, and that's all central time, okay? So that would be... Um, an hour later Eastern, an hour earlier, no, an hour earlier Eastern, an hour later Mountain, and two hours earlier in Pacific. Oh my gosh, it's so confusing, the sun. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, just look at the central time. There you go. Awesome. Okay. All right, you guys. Love y'all. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.